for Central Wheatbelt with the last question. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs. Minister, I refer to the education workshops being held throughout the state to support the implementation of the new Aboriginal Cultural Heritage Act, and I ask, one, how is the government advertising and promoting these workshops? Two, why are there no workshop, workshops being hosted in the wheat belt? And three, will the minister commit to adding workshops in the wheat belt to assist landowners, businesses and local governments to understand the Act, guidelines and regulations? The Minister for Aboriginal Affairs. They've been advertised, they're going to be advertised through the uh, department's website. There have been uh, notices sent out through the various um, media outlets. Have been, uh, notices have been sent to the various associations representing pastoralists, etc., etc., farmers and so forth, and uh, various other organisations. In regards to the number, it starts on the 24th of May and finishes around the 28th of June, and possibly, yeah, around the 28th of June. There's 13. Um, Bunbury, Armadale, Perth, Perth, Cunanara, Broome, Carafa, Poor Heaven, Esperance, Jerrican, Kalgoorlie, Albany, Carnarvon, and also an online session. The week bow's not that far from Perth. So, if uh, you, the the member uh, people people will have people will have and there's Esperance, there's Esperance, and there's Albany. If people wish to travel to those venues, they can, or they can go online. They can go online. There's 13 education sessions. I think there is a a good spread of uh, the the regions throughout Western Australia. There are enough opportunity opportunities for people to meet in person for the education sessions or to go online. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Minister, I urge you to reconsider. Will you reconsider hosting a education, uh, education session in the wheat belt so that landowners, local governments and people that live in that vast region don't have to travel to Perth? The um, Minister for uh, Aboriginal I think Affairs. I mentioned there's Esperance and there's Albany and there's an online session. Esperance is a the long way from Meriden have, and, and Southern Bunbury, Cross, Minister. There Bunbury. Uh, people, the department has considered this very carefully. Very carefully. It can't be anywhere. It can't be anywhere. There's 13 sessions, including an online session. I'm sure wow. people can find a way to go to these education sessions. There's also the opportunity to look at the information that's provided uh, on the website. There is sufficient opportunity. There is sufficient opportunity. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, Madam, Madam Speaker, place. we've got the members over there complaining about these sessions. They live in Perth. The National Party members live in Perth. It can't be too far to travel from your electorate if you live in Perth. It can't be that far to travel from the wheat belt if you live in Perth. Live in how many of you live in um, how many of you live in the regions? I live in Northern Minister, yeah. and it's not what the about point. You? The point is that where people live, that live Mr. in Mr. Southern Cross Mr. Leader, the, where do you that live in Minister Pyatt, oh, yeah. Harvey, Calgary. You've just said they don't count. It's important legislation. Members, that concludes.